Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to create this stroke and gradient text effect using HTML and CSS. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that I have here, I've got my two files. I've got my CSS file and I've got my index file. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title on my HTML file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the body and I'm going to add a heading. And so this heading is going to be called heading. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my paragraph tag and I'm just going to put in some lorem text. So I'm just going to write lorem 20, press tab and now I've got some text. So if I save this and preview this, this is what it looks like. So it's looking pretty cool. Now we have to come over to our CSS document. So this CSS file is called style.css. So in our index.html um, page, what we need to do is we need to link this together. So we will write link rel and then we'll put style sheet and then what we'll put is href and then what we will do is we will browse for our style sheet. And so once I have that, I can close it. It's now linked. And now what I can do is I can start to edit the CSS document. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are just going to change the background color for our document. So I'm just going to come over here and write background in body, press enter. And now I'm going to go to color hunt and I'm going to choose this color. So all the colors that I'm going to choose are going to be from the same color palette. So I'm going to come over here, press hash, and then I can just control V to paste. And now if I save that, you can see that we've changed the color. Excellent. So now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to set up our P styling. So I'm just going to come over here and write P. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color and the color I'll just leave it as white and I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to use the font railway and then I'm going to close it off and then just save it. So once I reload this page, you can see my font is changing. If your font doesn't change, then maybe you should use Google fonts and you should import them into your HTML and CSS documents. So the next thing is now we are going to style the heading. So I'm just going to start that off with H1. I'm going to open up my curly brackets and there are a few things that we have to put in here. The first thing is we'll get the stroke to work. So I'm just going to write WebKit uh, text fill color and then I'll press colon and then I'm just going to write transparent. And once I've got that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually put the stroke in there. So it will be WebKit again, text dash stroke and then colon and now I can put it to whatever I want two pixels and I'll just put it as white so now if I refresh this page you can see what has happened there but it doesn't look that great on this font so and the size is quite small as well so the first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to change the font so font family and again I'm going to use railway feel free to use whatever font you like and then I'm just going to change the font size and I'm going to bump it up to let's say 120 pixels. So now you can see that the heading is there and it's got a nice stroke. If you want to change the stroke size, you can just come over here to the stroke and you can change it like that. But I'm happy with two pixels. That's pretty good. But I don't I want all this heading to be uppercase. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to write text transform and then I'm going to write uppercase and I'm going to end that off. And then you can see all that text in that H1 is now uppercase. So a few other things that I want to add. Letter spacing, I want to bring it down a little bit. So I'm just going to bring it down negative two pixels. And then if I refresh that, I can see I'm bringing it closer together. Maybe I'll make it 1.5 and that's looking pretty good. And now what we need to do is we need to work on the gradient. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to write background image, 
press enter and then I'm going to search for linear gradient and now I need my two colors for my linear gradient. So I'm going to go to color hunt and I'm going to pick these two colors. So first color, put that one in there and then the second color, I will put that in there as well. So now if I save that, go back to my heading. Now you can see we've got this as the background. So there's our gradient. And now what we want it to do is just only appear inside the text. So to do that, it's quite easy. We need to go and write WebKit background and then clip and then we will write text. And if you've done that correctly, press save and there we have it. There we have the gradient inside the text with a stroke and it's looking very, very nice. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.